Hello, I'm Carlos from Sonimus. In this video, we're going to show you how to create the ultimate analog console within your DAW and get the classic British sound using our N series bundle. For this demonstration, I'll be using Pro Tools, but you can apply the same process in your favorite DAW. Once we have our session ready for mixing, we're going to add N console as our first insert in all our tracks, including channels, buses, auxes and master tracks. Then we will select all our audio channels and buses and we will add Burnley 73 as our second insert. Now let's set up end console on each track. For the audio channels and the FX tracks we will leave the plugin in channel mode to take advantage of the filters and gain staging capabilities. Then on the buses and master track we will swap them to bus mode. We will engage the master grouping in our master bus instance and name the groups in a meaningful way to be able to control our mix later on from our master and console. Now, when we gain stage our tracks, we can add them to each group. Let's start with the drums. For the drums, I'll use the VU calibration built-in and set it up at minus 26 dB. This will allow us to be more precise when gain staging our drums. Now by adjusting the level of our fader so the needle hits zero in the meter, it will provide plenty of headroom for our mix. For any other material, I'll keep the original VU calibration of minus 18 dB full scale. I'll also clean up the tracks using the filter section of end console, which will help us to place the tracks across the frequency spectrum. The new push feature in end console runs the signal through the preamp of the plugin slightly hotter to add more bite to the sound. This is especially helpful for bass drums, snare, or even guitars. Now, let's use Burnley 73 to shape the sound of our tracks and get the classic 1073 tone. Its three musical, semi-parametric bands and high-pass filter provides all you need to find the right sound for your instruments. Although we're not using any compressor in our session, we can achieve dynamic control using the mic gain knob in our Burnley 73. It will compress the signal while adding distortion in a musical way which will make our tracks more present in the mix. You can read more about it in our blog article, Mixing with Saturation, link in the description. Finally, End Console provides a tone selection in the bus instance, which is perfect to give that last touch on our mixes. You can choose between the default flat, loud or bright. Let's go for bright in this case. The crosstalk feature in end console is also helpful to get that extra sense of depth. Try the vintage crosstalk for a more classic sound. Now, let's listen to the final result. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to our channel for more videos about Sonimos products. Until next time.